Hello, I'm Jessica Rivera with your latest news update. On Tuesday, President Trump signed an executive order to ensure safer policing and safer communities. I've just concluded a meeting with incredible families, just incredible families that have been through so much. The families of Ahmad Arbery, Botham Jean, Antoine Rose, Jamel Roberson, Adiana Jefferson, Michael Dean, Darius Tarver, Cameron Lamb, and Everett Palmer. Today is about pursuing common sense and fighting, fighting for a cause like we seldom get the chance to fight for. We have to find common ground. But I strongly oppose the radical and dangerous efforts to defend, dismantle, and dissolve our police departments. And in Colorado, one of the suspects accused of burning a Minneapolis police precinct has been arrested. The suspect, 22-year-old Dylan Robinson, was taken into custody in the popular ski town, Breckenridge. Robinson is being held in Denver on arson charges from Minneapolis until he is transported back. The burning of the precinct happened May 28th in the wake of the controversial death of George Floyd in police custody. And in New York, three New York police officers were believed to have been poisoned Monday evening. According to the NYPD, the officers became ill after drinking milkshakes from a local Shake Shack in Manhattan. After the incident, the police department posted on Twitter that their officers had been intentionally poisoned at the Shake Shack. And the Police Labor Union, NYC's Police Benevolent Association, also posted, quote, when NYC police officers cannot even take a meal without coming under attack, it is clear that the environment in which we work has deteriorated to a critical level. We cannot afford to let our guard down for even a moment, end quote. The incident is still under investigation, but as of now, detectives have not found anything that supports an intentional poisoning by any of the Shake Shack employees. And North Korea has blown up a liaison office. This comes after weeks of escalating tensions between North Korea and South Korea. According to North Korean officials, there is no need for the two countries to discuss anything because they claim South Korea only instigates them. And also said, quote, what is left for them is to face severe punishment, end quote. North Korea also pledges to continue retaliation till the end. South Korea, a country known for trying to keep the peace with the North, responded with, quote, the government expresses strong regret over North Korea's unilateral explosion of the inter-Korean liaison office building. We sternly warn that we will strongly respond to it if North Korea takes any action that further worsens the situation, end quote. The liaison office was created in 2018. It was an office set up in North Korea on the border of the two countries, put in place to increase communication between the North and South. Many critics of North Korea see the destroying of the liaison office as a way for North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to try and show he is not weak. And in Indiana, an elderly couple has finally reunited after five weeks apart. 90-year-old Joyce Hoffman and her 90-year-old husband, Don, had been apart for the first time in their 67 years of marriage due to Joyce having COVID-19. Joyce was placed in a COVID unit at their living facility. The couple reunited with Don awaiting his lovely bride with a bouquet of flowers. Take a look. Turn you around for a second. Okay. Joyce and Don have more celebrating to do since Joyce turned 90 while she was away. And remember, you can now catch us on Dish Channel 219. We're also now on Pluto and as always on your phone, other devices, Roku, Apple TV, Fire TV, and our America's Voice News app. And that's going to do it for your latest news update. I'm Jessica Rivera and you're watching America's Voice News.